Financial independence is growing extremely fast and it's really gaining popularity. But a lot of people don't know that there are so many different ways that you can retire early or pursue fire. So today, what we're gonna talk about is the nine different ways that you can achieve financial independence. So the first one is the traditional retirement account. So we call this the steady saver. And what the steady saver does is there's someone who over time is saving money consistently, either in retirement accounts or in their brokerage account or something like that. And they're looking to retire at a retirement age, maybe in their 50s or their 60s. And what the steady saver does is it's typically someone who enjoys their job, enjoys working every single day. And so they wanna continue working throughout life, but wanna make sure that they can enjoy life as well. So the steady saver may save something like 20 to 25% of their income, put it into their 401k or their Roth IRA or any other brokerage account. And over time, they are going to build up enough of a nest egg where they can live off that nest egg for their retirement years. If someone wants to achieve financial independence earlier, then maybe being a steady saver isn't for you, but it takes the stress and it takes the pressure off you if you enjoy your job, if you enjoy working every single day. There's a couple of other positives to this. It doesn't require a high income. It doesn't doesn't require extreme frugality if that's something that you're trying to avoid, but it does require consistency. And it's a great option if you're looking to retire at the traditional age. The next one is Coast Fire or Fire and Chill. And what Coast Fire is, is where you're gonna save up a bunch of money, you're gonna be pretty frugal early on, and you're gonna save a big nest egg. And then what you're gonna do is over time, you can take your foot off the gas. And this is an extremely cool strategy because a lot of people don't know that this exists. So let's give an example. Say you worked as hard as you could to save up $500,000. And you knew that when you retired, you wanted to live off $40,000. So to live off $40,000, you know you need a million dollars if we're gonna use the 4% rule to draw down every single year so that you can live off $40,000. So if you saved up $500,000 and did not invest another dollar with an 8% rate of return, in 10 years, that portfolio would grow to $1.1 million. And this is a great example of Coast Fire because what this means is that you could get to $500,000 and if you don't want to continue to aggressively save up anymore and you just want to coast because you like your job or you want to stay at your job, then you can coast for another 10 years to get to $1.1 million and be able to retire. So this is another cool strategy for people who want to get aggressive early on and then enjoy life for a while and be able to enjoy their working years. The next one is one of the coolest ones and one of my favorite strategies because it shows how flexible financial independence is and it's called Barista Fire. Here's how Barista Fire works. You get to a point where you have enough money where you could just take a part-time job surrounding something you enjoy to fill in the gap. Let's say, for example, you wanna save a million dollars for retirement. You wanna live off $40,000 a year. With Barista Fire, you could save up $750,000 and then take a part-time job two, three days a week, surrounding something you enjoy to make up the difference of $25,000 a year. And this is one of the coolest strategies because for example, say you love fishing. Well, you could save up that $750,000 and become a fishing captain one to two days a week and get to go fishing twice a week while making up the difference of that $25,000. And this is for people, if you work in a cubicle or you're working at a job you hate, this is perfect for you because you can get to the point where you're getting closer to retirement then you can go work a part-time job to make up the difference. If you love hiking, become a hiking guide. If you love golf, become a golf instructor. Love fitness, love yoga, become a yoga instructor or a personal trainer. If you love craft beer, work in a brewery. If you love wine, work in a wine shop. All of these are fantastic options where you could be doing things for work that you enjoy and still be retired for five days a week. The next one is geo arbitrage. So geo arbitrage is a really, really cool strategy where if you love to travel and you love to travel the world, this may be a fantastic option for you because cost of living in other areas outside of the United States or North America, wherever you live, is there's areas that are typically lower. So geo arbitrage is where you save up enough money where the cost of living in another area where you want to live is enough for you to retire. So people go to places like Thailand, Mexico. There's a number of different places that you can go where the cost of living drops and all of a sudden the amount of money that you have is fully sufficient to support your lifestyle in those countries. 
Now, there's a number of ways to do this. You don't have to move to another country. Maybe you live in San Francisco where the cost of living is extremely high and you save up enough money with a high income to move to a lower cost of living area. So maybe you move from San Francisco to the South where there's a lower cost of living. This is another way to do geo arbitrage. It doesn't have to just be moving to another country. So if you really hate your job, but you love to travel, this may be a fantastic option for you. Because like we said, you can go to Thailand, you can go to Costa Rica, you can go to Mexico. There's so many different places that you can go. It's just choosing a lower cost of living area and saving up enough money so that it can support your lifestyle. The next path you can take is being a high paid professional. So while a lot of these paths don't require you to have a high income, Having a high income can truly accelerate the process. And having a higher income allows you to save much more money and put it towards investment so those dollars can start to work for you and really start to compound fast. Now, having a high income doesn't mean you're gonna have a high net worth. We've talked about that a number of times because a lot of people with high incomes spend all their money. But if you do have a high income and you wanna pursue financial independence, you don't wanna work for 30 to 40 years, then you could deploy that money, as much of it as possible, towards investments and be able to retire that much faster than everybody else. So with this, you can think of things like doctors or lawyers or executives at companies. Anybody with a high income can do this. The next one is an entrepreneur. Now, entrepreneurs are really interesting examples of ways to retire early. Because what happens is if you can build up a business and make that business very valuable, then you can go out and sell that business for a large lump sum and be able to retire. So for example, let's say that you have a roofing company and you build up that roofing company in your area to be worth a couple of million dollars. And all you need to live on is $80,000 a year. Well, if you sell that roofing company for $2 million in 10 years, then you are financially independent because you have $80,000 a year that you could draw down for that roofing company. And this is the power of having a business and being an entrepreneur is that you can retire so much faster if you have a successful business and take the right steps to build value in that business. But obviously, this option is not for everybody because there's inconsistent income. You have to know how to run a business and you have to know how to scale a business as well. The next option is to become a real estate investor. So real estate investing is a really cool path to financial independence because what you have to figure out is how much cash flow do I need to retire. Let's say you live off $6,000 a month. We need to figure out how many houses or properties do I need and how much cash flow does each property need to produce for me to get to financial independence. So for example, if you live on that $6,000 a month and you can find 12 houses that cash flow $500 a month, then you're financially independent because they're gonna cover your living expenses. So real estate is a fantastic way to take yourself to the next level and you get the tax benefits, you get the benefits of appreciation, and you get that cash flow as well that truly builds builds wealth. And over time, as rents increase, or as the value of the properties increase, you can either sell off some of those properties to have large lump sums of cash, or you're going to see your income rise over time because rents increase over the long term. The next path is extreme frugality. And extreme frugality is what a lot of people think of when they think of the fire movement early on. You can think of people like Mr. Money Mustache or Jacob from Early Retirement Extreme. These are great examples of people who used extreme frugality by working in their early years, saving up as much money as possible so that they can retire in their early 30s. And being extremely frugal means that your savings rate is the catapult to you becoming financially independent. Now this isn't for everybody because not everybody wants to be that frugal. But if you don't mind lowering your cost of living and you don't mind living that way, and that's something that may be amazing for you because it's one of the most popular ways to get to financial independence. It's figuring out what do I need in life? How much do I need? How much is enough? And living at that level and not increasing over time and keeping up with the Joneses and things like that. What you wanna do is just keep your expenses low and save as much money as possible. Then the last option is the hustler. So the hustler is someone who has a side hustle or a side business and they use all of that income to fuel early retirement. So a lot of people will use their day job income to live on, then they'll use all their side hustle income to fuel early retirement and increase the speed at which they can retire. And this is the power of side hustles. And this is the power of having side businesses because they can turn into full blown businesses that you could sell and you could really accelerate the path to financial independence if you take this path. So looking to building a side hustle, maybe it's around your interests, maybe it's not, but building up a side business may allow you to retire that much sooner. 
Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed the nine paths to financial independence. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And if you like this video, here are two more that I know you're gonna love. We'll see you on the next video.